Hello everyone and welcome back to another fantastic episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are here in the Korok Forest. We just got done upgrading our Master Sword. And that's about the only one that I can... Only one of the trials that I can get through with any semblance of ease. <laughs> so from there... We are going to continue on our objective that we were working on prior to that, which is uh, making our way to Varuda. We're probably not going to be able to uh, take down the the Ganon, the, the Blight that's there, but I think we will work our way through that uh, process of getting it unlocked. And then, after that, is Divine Beast Va Naboris. Which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> so, we're going to jump on over here to uh, Zora's Domain. As we do, I do want to remind everybody that we stream these videos live over at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. The link is scrolling below my uh, camera here. You can see it down below me. And make sure you follow us while you're over there so we can send you a notification when we go live. Which is typically Monday through Friday at 7pm Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 and then make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram, as those are the best places to keep up to date anytime there's a change to the streaming schedule. We also have a TikTok and a Twitter. If you're on those platforms and wish to follow us, that would be wonderful. Otherwise, uh, I do want to remind you... Oh, I forgot to tell the last group. <laughs> um, I do want to remind you that we are working our way through a uh, playthrough of the sequel to this game over on Twitch. So check out our schedule over there to see when those episodes are airing and that is all the um, housekeeping that I have for right now that my brain can think of let's talk to Leto and hand some stones off for some diamonds and stones <laughs> excuse me while I count them Oh. oh my, you really brought all ten. Yes, we've been through this. Diamond, thank you. I think I have more. Oh, if it isn't the alien. Here's some more stones. Oh. You're really giving me ten luminous stones in that case. <laughs> Excuse me while I count them. Ichi. Ni. San. <laughs> I haven't memorized any of the rest of the numbers, so that's uh, that's your daily dose of uh, Japanese language. It's probably not daily, but it's it just it's yeah. Thank you for the diamonds. The the diamonds are not as valuable in price as uh, the luminous stones are for 10 you know the conversion there isn't as far as rubies go is not great but we do need that in order to upgrade some of our um, outfits and stuff to the highest level um, actually speaking of that activity um, we are going to make a slight detour before we go deal with Naboris, or Varuda. And that detour, as you can probably guess from the Gerudo gear that we've just donned, which apparently the opposite of Don is Doff, in case you wanted an English language lesson as well. Um, Don means to put on or to wear, and, and Doff would be to take off. Um, fun <laughs> so we're gonna zip out here we're gonna find us a um fantastic sea seal sand, sand seal yeah those words and then we're going to zoom out to the other ferry where there is also a shrine do, 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 do. we still haven't found the other thing
Oh, actually, we should stop at the Gerudo Secret Club. Hi. And see how much the uh, uh, Vo Spalder and everything are. I'm a VIP. I don't have to enter the code. 6, 13, 6, 7, 8, 19, 450. We can oh. get them all. Hold on. Before I... Before I go too much farther, I wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't have them already. Oh. Thirteen, sure. Oh. I recommend pairing it with other yeah. items from this series, uh, of course. Oh. It's a precious item, so be sure to take care of it. So, because everybody's probably wondering, I'm here, I'm in the secret club. I am going to... <laughs> equip the, uh... bow outfit. And then we're gonna escape from the menu. I'm safe in here. Saba, saba. I should be going. <laughs> hey, that's cool. I can actually... I can I can be myself in here. was gonna happen but I wanted to test it just for the sake of it <laughs> Vo are forbidden from from entering this town this is Gerudo law do you understand never come back well that was kind of kind of mean okay um here let me uh Let me fix this problem. Although, let's be honest. Is it just the hat? Goodbye. Oh. It's not just the hat. <laughs> hey, we we have to test these game mechanics, you know. Although I'd be concerned. <laughs> um, let's try hat and pants. Am I okay now? Oh, I thought for just a second it was gonna let me through. Okay. And then obviously we have to try just the pants, which I think is probably fair to say that. Well, I guess we can we can conclude that it's not just the pants, because the pants. If it was the pants, then it would have worked with the hat. So let's go, um, just the shirt. Am I good? Yeah, I'm not good. Okay. So now shirt and pants, since we know the full set works. Okay. How's this? Still not okay. You know, eventually they're gonna actually attack me because, uh... <laughs> okay, so obviously it's not shirt and pants, so let's try shirt and hat. Nope, gotta have the full set. That's, that's cool. That's fascinating. And the other thing we're going to do once we get to the Great Fairy... Um, interesting. Once we get to the Great Fairy, we are going to... Uh, also, I literally just changed clothes right in front of you. And uh, you watched me walk in here multiple times. And yet, here I go. And everything is fine. 
<laughs> Once we get to the Great Fairy, we are going to uh, do the thing. Jules, isn't, isn't that the name of the same lady that attacks you for walking through her flowers? Uh. So, yeah, once we get to the Great Fairy, we'll run through these amiibo scans real quick. I need a seal. Please. Seal, please. Let's seal the deal. Great sealing, yeah. No, oh, no, I've been sealed. Oh, speaking of things and doing that, I should probably equip things that are not uh, quite so good. Um, April Blade's gonna work. Let's go with this bow. Stay on that shield. This equipment's fine. Actually, nope. <laughs> Oh, I'm kind of woozy. Still kind of woozy. Okay. Seal, we are going... ...out here. I need a waypoint. Oh, I think I can see it. not that one. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey. Can't stick around to talk. Hey, treasure. This sandstorm out here may cause a problem for us, but because we set our pin in the not sandstorm, yep, there's the sandstorm. Oh, but I can see through it. I can't see through it. Oh, I didn't consider the sandstorm actually blocking out my pen, too. Just keep swimming. There it is. We made it. See, since we're here and it's out of the uh, sandstorm, we'll do the shrine here in a, in a bit. Interesting. Hey, a seal. <laughs> See, this is the neat thing about the temperature mechanic. I'm standing in the shade right here in the desert, just a couple inches to the side here, getting the sun, and the temperature goes up, I start to melt. It's, it's really nice that it actually responds to the weather. See, like here. I'm getting hot again. <laughs> Bye, seal. There's always a couple of silent princess at the uh, things. They're supposed to be fairies, but maybe they're not there until it's opened. So, odds are I'm not going to have enough rupees. Boy, sweet boy, please feed me rupees because I'm hungry. It's Terra. This was a spring, but nobody came to give me rupees because... Rupees plus plant equals spring. Or something like that. <laughs> it went up my nose. Wow. 10,000 rupees. Not a chance. <laughs> What's this? You don't have enough rupees? How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. I didn't think it was that bad. I was thinking maybe five, because the last one was, was like a thousand. Hey, seal. I gotta go down here. But first... Self. <laughs> Sorry, I... I'm 
contractually obligated to uh, say it. I'm not really, but I like yes. So it turns out we're not going to uh, rescue the last of the great fairies, but we have a fast travel point, so we can uh, get back there at least. The current solution. Magnesis. Open door policy. This should be plenty simple. Yes. Wait, does it not close? It doesn't once I've opened it. That's awesome. Bring these with me. Oh, hello. Also, I see big ugly monster guys I do not want to play with. Open box. Ancient core. Speaking of big ugly monster guys, do you need your picture taken? It appears you do not. They are all Guardian Scout ones. Except maybe that one which I can't see well enough. I need a... Thank you. Nope. Cannot see well enough. Falcon bow is badly damaged. Range. My falcon bow broke. Too bad I don't have another one. <laughs> You're looking over like, uh, Carl? Where'd you go, Carl? Not Frederick, too! They're going Frederick. Hey, nerd. Oh, wow. That. I almost feel bad. Okay, so. Fun story. Did you know it's shocking if I touch this? In case anybody wanted to know. Okie dokie, that's a ball and chain. The old ball and chain. Currently tied around the column. This way, up, and over, and down, and that way, and power. Okay. Now we take this, which will electrify if I get it too close to that. <laughs> Up here and we got this. And we push it over here. Oops. And we grab this. And we push it up here. Hey, the parts came back to me. That was nice. The other two must be up top still. Okay. Ow. Don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. <laughs> you know what? I should. Probably set that about halfway, so it doesn't cause problems. 
actually strike that. What have I done? It's broken. Because this is already conductive, and it's a portable source. Oh, wow. I thought those were buttons I was supposed to be pressing, not buttons that would jettison me into uh, the next dimension. So, we're going to leave this here. There's the door and things over there. Grab these before they get full lung somewhere. Yeah, this is faster anyway. The only problem is I have to go up the platform. Please hold. Thank you for calling. Please hold. Thank you for calling. Please hold. Thank you for calling. Please hold. Thank you for holding. Please call. Thank you for holding. Please call. Thank you for holding. Please call. We take this, we raise it up in the sky. And then we try not to get electrocuted violently. But electrocution gently is okay. Probably. Stay. Stay, please. <laughs> I have to know. Oops. I have to know what the. Uh, these four things do. And that one. Because obviously that one needs to be. Lit up, but I'm gonna do it when I'm on solid ground. Not something that's potentially going to fl 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 flame me. Eee, there's a, a pathway down there. Interesting. Okay. Shocky ball. Go up there and shocky this. What is that? Oh, it opens a pathway. to a treasure chest. Which is why there was a gate there. Or a, a, a bar is there. Ooh, cash money. Thank you. Delicious. Tastes like chicken. Oh yeah. Zap. Hmm, that's fun. Both of those do that. Whoosh, that goes whoosh. Ah, you can actually go through the middle here and not uh, trigger either of those. So that means this probably opens the door. But. Sneaky little devil. What you gonna do when I tell you no? This may be very, very bad. In case anybody's wondering, I'm anticipating a high velocity block flying at like Mach 87. Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, that was great. If that hit me, that would have been re really, really bad. So apparently I have to go in here, but I can't take the shocky thing with me. Uh, 
Okay, so it's gotta be like here. Like there. Oh, presumably this number, and then this number. And now we did it. Oh, they, they shifted after, because it dropped back and kind of bounced. Oh, I had to come in here, yes. Maybe. Ooh, maybe not. But there's a gear. What do I do with this gear? Other than I wish to be up there. Do not roll away. See, this is suspicious. Being able to uh, reach through there. Sapphire. It should have been a topaz because we're playing with electricity. Okay, so is it just as simple as push the gear through here and uh, do that. So I did have to go in there. Is that really all it takes? Seems to be the case. Cool. I mean, that was a long, drawn out process, but uh, it works. Orb of Spirit. Not to be confused with the Requiem of Spirit, which was a song from the Ocarina of Time days. May have been in other games too, but uh, definitely, uh, I think it was Ocarina of Time. I don't remember. <laughs> Forgot for a minute we were in the desert and also freezing. Okay, let's put this goofy thing on. So we're less cold. Is my seal that I paid for still here? No. How dare you. I paid for that seal. I can't freeze the seal. I got me a seal. Okay, now, before we go doing something foolish... Oh, I guess I don't need to... I don't need to even seal my way back here. Yeah. Never mind the seal. Or the cold, or the, the other things. So, we need... This. This. Where do I get the Zora hat from? Well, we could wear that one. It gives us a set. Or we could do that one, which we... That's kind of fun. Um...
Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get the, the Zora hat. Um, see, we should have a... We, we ought to have a... I do not have the Master Cycle. No, not yet. Um, still working on completing the Divine Beasts. Because my understanding is that you have to complete all of them before you can go through the Champion's Ballad. So we'll head on over here to uh, the Zora's Domain. If I can find the right spot, there we go. <laughs> and make our way to Varuda. <laughs> this helmet is so crazy but also very fitting for where we're headed, so that'll be awesome. Um, where is Toto Lake? Oh, okay, that is, yeah. We're probably gonna go up there on our way through this uh, fun stuff. So let's go this way. And then we'll use this as a slightly roundabout way to get up there to Oh, there's Kilton. Let's go talk to Kilton. If I can get over there. Um, let's go airborne. I gotta remember I can't I can't climb walls while it's raining, so we're gonna have to go this way. That's not gonna work. Probably not gonna get there in time. remember if it's 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. that he stops uh, selling stuff, but we'll try and get over there and talk to him. Because we dealt with him before um, because of the quest at the one stable, and then when we stopped in to chat with him in, was it Skull Island? He was, or that was where we, we talked to him initially, and then he's like, well, meet me out on the in the world somewhere, and then he disappeared. And then the one time that we found him out in the world, he's like, yep, time to close up shop. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah! Ah, it's just you. You startled me. Monster shop is now open for business. Seeing as how you're a first-time customer at the Fang and Bone, our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to Mon. Um, what is Mon? Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Stick it to the man! <laughs> just kidding, there is no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turned them into money. Here's the deal, if you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, eh? Anyway, you can spend your Mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Ah... Uh, Another thing. I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. So let's exchange the monster parts for Mon. Talk to me about monster parts. Monster parts are the things that monsters drop when they expire. <laughs> you know, horns, fangs, eyes, the color and size may differ a bit, but they're all monster parts. The more rare they are, the more Mon they're worth. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. So now, what will you exchange for Mon? Here, have a 13 durian. Oh, yes. Let's uh, hand over the scales of the dragons for Mon. See, the only drawback here... I guess I could give you copious amounts of key swings. They're not worth very much. Um, 
the only oh nice all the guardian stuff or yeah guardian parts are useful for it choo choo jelly that is uh probably a good thing let's go i don't know uh, half of them sure and then let's see what you have for stuff for sale spend some on da 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 it's been a while but i've developed a new piece of monster yell and gear i call it the lizolfo mask the Zolfos can really be a pain to deal with when you're injured. They can be a pain to deal with anyway. <laughs> Just when you think they're sleeping, they attack you without a moment's notice. Since some of those scaled sneaks can even use camouflage to blend, it, blend into their surroundings. But if you wear this Lizolfos mask, they will think you're one of them and they'll ignore you. Current balance is 150. What would you like to buy? Ooh, monster extract. I need to get some of that for the, for the thing. I also need this stuff. I want all of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up getting all of it. Um, may, maybe not. Maybe not the spring loaded hammer. I mean, I'll have to get it so I can take a picture of it. But we're gonna start with uh, two, three, four, five of them. Because that's needed for the monster cake that I have to make. Um, just a mop to the untrained eye. Okay. At every divine beast place, and he can give you the dark link armor. That sounds fascinating. The dark link armor, is that the one that boosts the attack? Or is that one that affects your um, your nighttime combat? Um, for now, we will bail because I will probably need the monster parts for upgrading the equipment. Um, and now back to this direction so we can stop at that uh, Toto Toto Link. Speed boost at night, you can run and walk faster with it. Very cool. Swing around here to the waterfall so we can jump up to Toto Lake and grab the last of the Zora armor. Um, yeah, it's going to be easiest to run across here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this pin. And we'll just zoom along here. Should be fine. Oh, that was smooth. <laughs> Should be able to fly up or swim, not fly up this uh, waterfall. Zoom. Here. And we'll go get that treasure. That's quite the waterfall. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks for following. These trees are pretty neat. The color on them. Oh, 
All right, there should be, is it probably Magnesis? Maybe not. <laughs> there it is. Right there. And there's the Zora Helm. If I was planning ahead, I, I would uh, go level these up a little bit. Actually, where is the closest ferry at? There's one there. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll we'll zip over there. See if we can uh, level up our armor. And then come back, go take out, uh, or go deal with, uh, getting to Varuda. Because at the very least, if we can bump up the Zora set once, we'll get the set bonus with it. And that'll be pretty sweet, because every little bit of, uh, help I can get is going to be a good thing. To be totally honest, we ought to just swing by Terrytown, because I think we we sent the the Rito shopkeeper over. So check on Hudson and see how he's doing. But first, it's uh, upgrade time. No right. Oh. Enhance away. Zora. Oh, I don't. Oh, I've already upgraded that one once. Gotcha. Oh. Yes, please. Or twice, I guess. Maybe. Once. Just once. The two stars was where it was going. Okay. Oh. Yes. Yes. Mm. I... Do we enhance anything else while we're here? Oh, that doesn't take any star fragments for the first, uh, first tier. Interesting. Mm, we actually have enough to go up another level oh. with that one. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh. Is that also, uh, Gives, that gives us better protection while we're uh, in the water, and with the Zora Helm, we can use the uh, the spin attack, which does use stamina, I think, but it's not uh, the end of the world. All right, let's go check on Terrytown, see how things are going, then we'll f teleport back to. Uh... Oops, <laughs> that was super smooth. We'll teleport back to Zora's domain afterward and uh, move forward with the Varuda quests. I'm guessing we're gonna get here and Hudson's gonna want more bundles of wood. Hello, Hudson. Wait a minute. Oh. Hey. He managed to find a Rito and bring him back here. Thank you. He wasted no time getting a general store up and running. Apparently, his family runs one, too. And with a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. He's selling things uh, that he's picked up while flying around. 
You should really go check out the store. Well, next is... Uh-huh. So before we can call more people here, we need more homes. Can you bring me 50 bundles of wood? With that, I can combine it with what we have, and uh, it'll be a great, uh, fantastical time. I do have 50 bundles of wood, because I've been collecting. There you go. No. <laughs> yes, you can have them. I'm just messing with you. You're a lifesaver. And then I'm probably going to harvest the trees you have here. <laughs> I actually wanted to talk about something a little personal. What's wrong? Oh, not that kind of personal. Actually, I got engaged. No way. Congratulations. To who? To Ronson. Nice, nice work. You're a cute couple. <laughs> anyway, we want to have a little ceremony to celebrate, but we need someone priest-like to officiate. Yes! The best part about this is he's at the Zora Domain. So we can uh, talk to him and uh, progress this a little further. Could you look for someone priest-like for us? Uh, priest-like. Huh. If we're looking for a people devout enough to have a priest-like person, I'd suggest the Zora. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in sun. Seems, uh, seems like Bolson construction's policy is kind of spilling over into normal life activities. If you run into anyone with, uh, that fits with what I've said, send them to Terrytown. That is awesome, because I know just where to go. Let's go check out the shop. He has arrows and arrows and ancient gears. Mm hmm, that's a, that's a bit tempting. I will take your arrows, please. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And arrows of all kinds. We've got plenty of shock arrows for the Varuda fight. Um, we'll wait on those. And do Who is this? Hello. What's the deal? You're... I'm a traveler. I normally don't have time to mingle with commoners, but I have a feeling about you. I'll make an exception this time. Your clothes. I'm guessing you're a little, uh, hard up for cash, am I right? What, uh, what about my perfectly customized, um, Mifa-created clothing outfit set makes you think that, oh, because it's probably expensive looking, so you assume that I've spent all my money. <laughs> Um, yes, because that's the only way to move forward with uh, this uh, question. I appreciate, or with this conversation, <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. So for the down payment, I'd say 100 rupees sounds fair. Yes? I don't need money. Oomph. What? Okay, this is, uh, strange. Sure, why not? I don't care about the details. Here, take it. And... So you accept then? Excellent. Now listen to what I have to say. Corin Wetland lies to the west of here. You're aware there are guardians there. Not just one, either. <laughs> Two of them. You know how dangerous they are. So, Sunny Boy, I'd like you to wallop both of them in the Torin Wetland. Then come and see me. Really? Um, yeah, we can do that later. Thanks for the money, though. Hey, there's other visitors here. Hi. Oh, good morning. Hi. Who might you be? I'm just a traveler. Oh, is that so? By the way, I don't suppose you came to Terrytown to purchase a holiday home, did you? That's right. Oh, is that so? Anyway, please be careful. My husband is taking great care of this area, but there seems to be a lot of strange folk just outside of town. Okay. Mm these are people that haven't been here the previous times I've been here. Good morning. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like another youngin in town. Who are you? I'm called Moggs. That's, uh, cleared that right up. Don't do his mission. He'll give you something like 20 rupees. But if you need ancient pieces. Um, I will need ancient pieces eventually. Um, because we've got all the stuff with, uh, is it Robbie in the, 
I call a research research facility. We've got all the equipment there that we need to deal with, but uh, as of right away, it's not a not really pressing matter. Something we'll get to eventually. But I appreciate the heads up for sure. Sun has grown up and retired. When I heard a rumor about Terrytown, I just had to move here. And I'm glad I did. My pets seem much happier here too. Anyway, come back and chat with me again sometime. Okay. I'm sure I will because sometime I'll come back and I'll forget that you were, uh, that we already talked to you, <laughs> Mr. Person Named Muggs. Let's zip over to Zora's Domain, get the priest guy, send him back over here, and then go do what we were trying to do in the first place. And that is head up to the Varuda interaction. Because that's going to be exciting. A whole lot better than the uh, Thunderblight Ganon, though. That was not... Uh... It was not a fun one when I ran through the first time. Okay, so if I were a priest-like guy, I think I would be on the second floor. Yes. Hello, LaFlat. How is the uh, trying to discourage people from jumping off the cliff uh, thing going? Ah. ah, then allow me to illuminate you. The fearsome beast called the Lionel. It would be nice if seeing it discourage reckless young Zora from venturing near, but I suppose that's wishful, link wishful thinking. Okay, snail. Hi, Capson. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding, then I shall be fulfilled. Thunderblight Ganon is the hardest one. Well, funny story, backstory there. Um, this is actually my second playthrough here on Breath of the Wild. And I didn't complete it or anything. I, I went through the main storyline before, but... Um, I managed to start with Thunderblight Ganon on that uh, playthrough, and it took me forever to actually beat. Because one, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, most of it, and uh, I was not equipped for a, a Blight Ganon fight. And basically I got to, was it the Wasteland Tower? It was one of the towers that was, that was like right on the edge of the desert, but really high up. Uh, I was up there, and I could see down into the desert. It was an area that I hadn't been yet. And I'm like, I'm just going to fly down there. So <laughs> I set up insane amounts of uh, stamina restoring foods and everything. And I just took off, and I, I glided down into the desert. Um, I was burning the whole way because I didn't have any gear that was um, resistant to heat or anything. And uh, yeah, as I'm, as I'm getting partway out into the desert... It triggers that cutscene where uh, Vana Boris is just stomping around. And it, uh, of course, I fall out of the sky and it sets me on the ground. Um, so now I have to walk the rest of the way across the desert to, to the bazaar and do all that stuff. But yeah, for whatever reason, I figured I'm just going to do Thunderblight first and I regretted it immensely. <laughs> so that's why on this run through, we're kind of changing it up and doing some we started with um Rudania was the first one we did this time uh, which was a lot of fun it didn't seem like it was too bad and um then we went and we took care of the uh Va Meadow because having Rivali's Gale seemed like a really really useful thing to get at that point and I thought Daruk's protection might be helpful because I tend to chicken out of scenarios <laughs> So then we're just kind of working through and leaving Thunderblight to the end because that's when pain is best served. Uh, cold or something like that. So, Capson, get a load of this. I have been waiting to hear those specific words. Oh, I informed him that I had... Yeah, I gotcha. Because that skip in dialogue's kind of strange. Recommend having the Master Sword before Thunderblight. Um, just 
having it or having it like leveled up multiple times because I do have the master sword I didn't I don't think I did then um, and I've completed the first of the sword trials so it's up to 40 points um, but I don't I don't know if I'll be able to get through the other other trials because they're this normal sword okay awesome I will definitely keep that in mind when I go in looking for looking for the fight against <laughs> against Thunder Blight. Um, now, here's the specifics about the Terrytown stuff. As for the location, Terrytown in Akala, it's not too far from here. It would please me to hurry there right away. Yes, please. <laughs> Leave it to me. It's been a long while since I've had good work. I'm eager to put my skills to good use. You should come as well. I will start my preparations in Terrytown in the meantime. I appreciate it. I'm I'm sure I will need all the luck I can get when it comes to comes to the Thunderblight fight. See, I think honestly, I think the biggest reason it was such a challenge for me, um, other than simply not knowing what I was doing, um, I tend to be more of a a distance player um, when it comes to fights and that sort of thing. I'd rather stay back and try and try and use bows and and arrows and. Just whatever it takes to try and separate me from the fight. Because when it gets up close and personal, I have a tendency to panic and cause a mess of things. So with Thunderblight, that works for part of it. Because you can use the Magnesis and pick up the, the metal boxes and whatever and, and that kind of thing. But then he does that, that like zippy, zoomy thing where he flies in really fast, really close, and then everything gets really bad so that really really messed me up <gasps> hello Gaddison hey Gaddison could go to Terrytown that may be somebody we need to remember yes sir the east gate is all clear sir no. oh well if it isn't Master Link aren't you a sight for sore eyes we used to play together all the time that was a hundred years ago my name is Gaddison. Mm -hmm. The Hylian that Prince Sidon brought here. Don't tell me that was you, Master Link. Mm -hmm. And what's more, you don't seem to have changed much in the last hundred years. Oh, but I shouldn't be making idle chit-chat just now. I'm supposed to be fulfilling my officially appointed duty by keeping watch at the East Gate. I must maintain my surveillance of East Reservoir Lake. We can chat later. Okay, so that means we need to come back and talk to Gaddison when we uh, complete this Varuda stuff. Let's see if there's any um, new dialogue there. I have to do a backflip to dodge a sword and then hit him. Oh, okay. Um, gotcha. Use a, like a flurry rush or that sort of thing. And see, those... Uh, the dodging and stuff I tend to struggle with for some reason. May just be because of uh, lack of practice, but that would also explain why the first time was so incredibly bad, because I didn't have a clue about even blocking attacks and that sort of thing. Doing the shield and, and parries and stuff, I, I, was, I just didn't have a clue. So, but those are very good tips. I do appreciate. I will, uh, keep them in mind once we once we get over there I'm hoping at the very least wow that's mildly intimidating I'm hoping at the very least um, just having the other the the Mephis grace and Daruk's protection all that stuff should be beneficial uh, once it comes down to actually dealing with all the mess over there. Night Shield. Apparently we had room for it, so that'll work. Uh, do we have a Claymore? We have a Stone Smasher. That will work. It's easier than throwing the pots around. And of course there's nothing. <laughs> All right, we will take a nap, so we're full of health. Sleep till morning. That's a good 
Oh, that's uh, the timing of that. The blood moon rises once again. The blood moon right before we lead into the uh, interaction with Varuda. I wonder if part of the in-game uh, kind of difficulty counter, because as you progress in the game, the, the monsters and things that you have... Oh, speaking of things, let's get rid of this so that can recharge. Um, as you progress in the game, the there's an internal tracker that makes interactions get more and more difficult as you go along. So like you'll end up with more of the like the black and silver and gold book goblins and enemies and stuff the farther along that you are in the game. And I wonder if that maybe counts the blood moon cycles or something too in order to determine it. But it could be something completely disconnected because that's uh just as likely <laughs> glad to see you're ready to go link sparkle hmm. are you ready for this do you have your zora armor and enough shock arrows probably not but uh okay <laughs> <laughs> wonderful you never cease to amaze link now then let's go and appease that divine beast as one here we go Sploosh. Hmm. Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. Okay. Do you see those glowing pink orbs? You'll need to shoot each one of them with the shock arrow. With your Zora armor, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. I shall take you right up to the side of the divine beast, and from there you can swim up and take aim. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now hurry up and get on my back. I am ready. <laughs> Good answer. Let's get going. What is the defensive method that this... Uh... Ah, I am unstoppable in the water. Light get harder when you're doing them, so the first one will be weaker than the last one. Oh, that's not good. Keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruda's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Varuda will undoubtedly use its ancient and mysterious power to thwart us. That includes hurling giant ice blocks that we'll have to watch out for. Good news, I can... I can do that, I can also do this. Oh, that doesn't, uh, doesn't do that. Okay, so... That was weird. Maybe it will if I'm... Okay, it will if I'm close enough to it. If this guy wasn't in my ear telling me what I needed to do, I would be... Uh, use Cryonis. Very nice. Yep, that... Uh... <laughs> I... The one that I pointed at was, uh, was on the other side of the thing. Ah. It was on the other side of... there he is. On the other side of the beast, so... So it wouldn't let me... wouldn't let me affect it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Those are spiky. Watch that ice. Well, oh, it's chasing us. <laughs> Sir, I think you're swimming to the wrong side. I guess I'm supposed to be on this side.
This is not the side that I wanted to be on, but I'll make it work. Zap. Zap. Ah! I win. <laughs> wow! That was astounding! What a thrill! Shut down. No more rain in this domain. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Definitely could have been a lot more efficient at that, but uh, hey, the end result's the same. <laughs> Ruta's flying, floating higher now. I'll bring you in closer. We're counting on you, hero. Do good work in there. Sweet. I think, honestly, on my... Here we are. Wait Looks for the like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. Bye, Sion. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> Finish the job. Sweet. Yeah, as what I was saying there was, uh, I believe on my first run through that. This one was the easiest to deal with, um, and I'm not, I'm not sure if that was just timing or if I was getting the hang of things better by then, but it was, uh, the actual battle here was relatively an easy process. Travel gate registered. You're here. I must say that I am so happy to see that this day has finally arrived. Now, Ruta can be freed of Ganon's control. You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. The Guidance Stone there contains the information that you will need. Okay, I think we can manage that. Don't need that. We're going to change into a better outfit for dealing with this. Uh, my favorite champion. I don't know that I've specifically considered that. Um... I'm tempted, I'm tempted to say Mipha because of her ability with the, with Mipha's grace and helping, I mean, I die a lot, so that's, that's pretty useful. As far as overall, I'm kind of a, kind of a fan of the OG, so Link is probably, probably where I would, I would default to as far as a favorite champion out of the five. Um, Rivali's just a jerk, so I can't, I can't side with him. Um, I mean, his, his, uh, kind of self-entitled air kind of left me not wanting to even rescue him. So it's like, uh, but yeah, probably either, probably either Link or Mifa. Just based on, uh, well, mostly arbitrary. And uh, arbitrary functionality. That kind of a, a take on things. Um, I don't remember what direction I was supposed to be going. Probably outside, I'm guessing. There's an eye here. Can I hit that? I can.
Okay, that was an easy solution there. Now we cryonis this door. And we have a map. It's the map, it's the map. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this is the... The control the trunk to redirect the water flow. That's right. Good. You've obtained the map of the Divine Beast. You will see several glowing points on your map which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Be careful. Alrighty, so business as usual. Um, we have... oops. Lots of light up there, lots of things down there. Um, oh, okay. Should be simple enough. Oh, it stays. I thought it was going to sink back in. So that was simpler than I uh, had planned. I was ready to uh, switch over to stasis and... There are four terminals remaining. Don't keep, give up. Keep that uh, crank in place. And see, the best part here about using Rivali's Gale just before we... Uh, Uh, boarded Varuda is it should be fully charged by the time we get to the final fight so if we need it we are set um, just kind of looking for eyes here this is also the good thing about putting on the champion's tunic because those show up before they attack me Okay. You want to do it this way? Problem solved. Guardian sword is better than that. So we'll go ahead and drop this. Take the guardian. Oops. <laughs> guardian sword, because that'll be a better thing to deal with these guys anyway. Lots of blight, lots of blight. Um, Thunder blight will be another day. We'll prob probably this stream we'll finish up Varuda here, and then that'll be about the end of the stream because we're running up on right at three three hours right now. Rivali's gale is now ready. Of course, eventually we will have to go back through all of them as we run through the Champion's Ballad, but... That'll be... I don't know, we'll probably do the Champion's Ballad stuff after... After the first run-through with Ganon. Because our, our primary goal here is to... Try to complete the main storyline. Like, all the way through uh, the Ganon fight before we get to, or before the release of Tears of the Kingdom. That's kind of what, what the threshold is, I guess, for me. And then we'll, once, once Tears of the Kingdom releases, we'll mix it into, into the schedule with the other stuff. It won't, it won't just be the end of playing on this. We'll keep playing this as well, but yeah, so... Um, let's see, the Thunderblight, honestly we could probably get to Thunderblight in the next, the next stream, so that'll be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time, and we'll, we'll, we'll aim to deal with the Thunderblight fight 
during that stream. So it'll be our next our next stream. And as far as as far as time zones and stuff, um, I'm not sure conversions. But if you check the schedule there on Twitch, it should uh, convert to whatever your time zone happens to be. <laughs> Not sure if I've got that uh, trunk twisted far enough for this to spin. Let's just go all the way. I may have to open something first before... Oh, there's the water. Okay, here we go. Oh no, we're going the wrong way. That's not what I want. Yeah. Well, now we're back down here. Try to be there to help me. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. If if it helps at all as far as planning and timeline or timing, um, it'll be probably be closer to the second half of the stream tomorrow. So, and generally streams on the weekends run for at least three hours. Um, fluctuates some, but I really really aim for three hours. Um, for those those streams there There are three terminals remaining you can do it I forgot there was a terminal here in the uh, little wheel Water there. All right, we'll go. Oops. That was farther up than I thought it was. The cliff there, or the ledge. It's not really a cliff, I guess, but. over here. Clear that. Always love the money. Oh, that actually doesn't do anything for us that we couldn't access already. <laughs> but hey, it gets the money. And the money is good. So, we'll just do this. Hello, sir. Enjoy perishing. Okay. We already have the Guardian Spear in the Convention. What a... Does that stay pressed? That does stay pressed. Good. Here's a big light eyeball on one of these. <laughs> there it is. Boom! Oh, I was gonna s stasis that, but uh, I guess I have to turn off the water outside for that to stop. Okay, 
so it looks like that path might... Well, before I jump off here, let's go up here and see what we're dealing with on this side. Blocked pathway, because they have the trunk all the way up. So... Doo -doo -doo -doo, let's move the trunk. Somewhere here. Gotcha. Ancient Shaft. Seems like there might have been something better that could have been in that uh, box. Up we go. Not entirely sure what uh, benefit that was to me, but. It felt right, so <laughs> we did it. Well, it was quite a great benefit. Also, the water is about to knock me off the pedestal. I was going to get to tip over far enough that I would slip off of here, but, uh, oh, that was the eye that uh, blocks that box. Mm -hmm. Okay, we should be good to grab this box. Ice arrows. see a box there we're gonna need to get so if I go into the fire room first ah you spawned one anyway Magnesis. If I can aim it properly. Okay. Do do somewhere about there. Not quite. Nah, it'll almost do it. <laughs> the fire that was is no more. Send that all the way back up to the top because we'll need it there later. Just one terminal remaining. I have faith in you. Yay. All right, now we get the box. 
Knight's Halberd. Durability up. Well, as far as things go, there's not really... It's not really a great uh, halberd. But I want to make sure we don't need a picture of it, which we don't. It has a sparkle, though. We'll stick with the Guardian Spear, I think. Because it was a 20 and this one's a 13. Yeah, it's not, it's not better, so. Stick with that, and yeah, it'll be good. So now we need to go to this platform, which is presumably intended to be accessed from the outside. Those teeth are kind of gross on the, the blight things. Oh, okay. It was just it was just a door on the other side. All right. We need the box which is not metal. So I'm going to have to stasis it. No. <laughs> no. All the way down. Uh, that was the wrong one to say to steal. There we go. That should let the box fall. Oh, it's attached. Well, so much for that. Ooh, hold on. Hold on just a moment. I think I see an option. I guess I probably don't need all of them, but there we go. Oh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of boxes in this uh, beast. Ancient spring. Going up. That's probably the intended uh, method of getting up here. Okay. Oh, there's that box too. Okay, let's go ahead and change back to this outfit. We'll wait for that box to come back around that's on here, and then we'll... Or on the outside fin thing. Then we'll move uh, Varuda's trunk. And then we'll jump over and we'll be good to go. Okay, it is right there. So we can go ahead and move this. Ah, we didn't have to move it anyway. Fire arrows. Cool. Oh, it goes backwards, too. That's kind of neat. Still not far enough, okay. Oh, actually, I'm gonna need to go all the way up so I can stasis this and then move it the other direction. Because it's. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? Currently... I 
I think I may have messed up that stasis. Yep, definitely did. Start the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. Head there. Be careful not to let your guard down. Mm. No, it's not. It's decidedly inconvenient. Um, total? I'm not sure how many Koroks I have. I have four on hand right now, and my current inventory space looks something like this. It's shields, I've upgraded a few times, upgraded several on the bows, and I've upgraded quite a few on the weapons. Um... I'm not sure... I'm not sure where, if it tells me where the total number of Koroks is from in the game. I know if you, if you uh, teleport somewhere, the loading screen shows you, I think. Um, I'm definitely not maxed out on Koroks, I know that much, but as far as the inventory space is concerned. But I have been doing my best to try and pick them up as we uh, go along. There we go. <laughs> Ancient core. There's a very small portion of me that wanted to stay in there and let it s squish me. <laughs> Just for the sake of it. Okay. Yeah, the, the total, is there 900 total on the map? Oh. Are you talking they show on this map? On Oh, I guess it's not going to show it from inside of the beast, because the only map that I get is the Divine Beast map from here. We'll take a look either when we get out of this uh, dungeon or um, or we'll teleport after we get out of here so we can get it to show. run down here to the last, uh, or the, the control terminal. And one thing I gotta remember is to take a picture because we are working on the compendium as we roll through this. And let's see, equipment wise, outfit should be fine, shield is good, we'll upgrade to that bow. Ice is the fire. Should be pretty good against the... Well, I guess it's a water. So electric's probably better against it. As far as an elemental boost. And we'll go ahead and equip the Master Sword for some extra oomph. Alright. Resave so when I have to load again, if I have to load again. That'll be good. We'll get our picture here and then... We'll switch to 
uh, Cryonis, so we can... The red glow in here is super crazy. Also, the moonlight coming through the window. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. All the blights are super creepy. Okay, so first things first. Please Wait. take care. That thing is one of Ganon's creations. I put up as much of a fight as I could, but it proved to be my demise 100 years ago. Regardless, I believe that you are well prepared for this moment. I have faith in you. Picture time. I can do better. Long beach. Yeah, like that. Scary. <laughs> Get out of the water, please. No thanks. You know, it was nice of you to move closer. But I'm really not interested. That's almost the same as the other picture. Nope. <laughs> I like that one better. That gets the, uh, the Ganon hair in the picture. Because, I mean, everybody knows appearances are uh, the most important thing. Nope. No thank you. Okay. Oh, you're moving over to this side. Nope. Oh. I missed. Here. Catch. No, thank you. And the royal bow is badly damaged. That's not what we wanted to hear. Nope. Ouch. Excuse me, sir. Sir, sir, I do not want. Do not want your spear. No, thank you. I'm trying to cut back. Okay. He's more angry. <laughs> Careful. Not much hey, nope. 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 Stop it. Dork. Oh. Cool. Not sure how I dodged that one. Should climb. Oh. This is not where I want to be. This is not where I want to be. Yep. No, thank you. Hi. Let's go ahead and. Ouch. You know what? Fine. Let me guess, you're gonna come over to this corner now, aren't you? Ooh. 
He fell down. Yeah, I, I definitely should have uh, jumped over there and did something while he was in the water, but... Uh... Nope. Ooh. Nope. 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 And... Nope. The problem is, I have to get over there, and my running speed is not fast when it's in the water. Hiya! You also seem to have forgotten that, uh... Oh, that'll work. <laughs> that was not bad at all. Thank you, thank you. Even though this was the third, the third beast, um, that it definitely felt quite easy because um, the actual attack mechanics and stuff were really simple to to handle. So it was nice. I liked it. And, of course, now we get a free Mifa. <laughs> and a shiny heart. That's another thing that... Uh, um, there's a company called The Wand Company, and they do a lot of uh, video game replicas of various, various things. Uh, I have a bunch of the Pokeball replicas that they've made. But the heart containers would be something really cool that they have really good quality stuff out of their their uh, products. Not to, not to promote them or anything, but I do I do I really like their stuff. They're they're kind of pricey, but they're worth it. Anyway, I think we are good to go. Once you activate the main control unit. You will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast, with the only exception being when you come back and do the, <laughs> the trials, the the champion's ballad. That's what it's called. Because that'll be that'll be an episode. Hello, Link. Because of your courage, my spirit is now free, and Ruta as well. Thank you, for I am now allowed by this freedom to be with you once again. <laughs> Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on me. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept Mipha's grace. Look. Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. <laughs> Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Save Princess Zelda. Whoosh.
Hey, there's a shrine I haven't gotten yet. a way to be useful to Link, and the other champions, of course. <laughs> Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance, and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Even just once more. Mifa's Grace. Restorative power born from the spirit of the champion Mifa. When your heart runs out, when your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full health plus temporary bonus hearts. That's a super useful activity. Um, especially given my history. So, let's go ahead and fast travel to this shrine that's right here. So we can get the official count on the Korok seeds and stuff. Sixty Korok seeds right now. And forty nine shrines, if that's uh important. <laughs> So, um, what we've done previously when we wrapped up after a, um, champion, or after a Divine Beast fight, is we'll go talk to the village leader or, um, whoever's the one in charge of the area that we saved, so we'll go meet up with the Zora, um, king? Zora priest? Um, haven't even done 40 because it's too long. See, for me, I struggle with having enough inventory slots, so that was kind of why I was as aggressively following the... or aggressively dealing with the Koroks and stuff. Because I don't ration weapons very well. <laughs> Link, you did well to survive your trial. I've been awaiting your return. <laughs> Look at all the Zora. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. <laughs> you appeased the divine beast Varuda and thusly saved Zora's domain. <laughs> we are all truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. <laughs> Link. Oh, this is Muzu, the manta ray. Or the... Yeah, he's a manta ray. Um... Link, I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. 
That whole time, you were thinking of Hyrule's and Lady Mitha's well-being, just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. It would seem so. That said, I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. <laughs> Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside the chest over there. It was cherished by Mipha, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. Mm. Oh, but I see you already awakened the sword that seals the darkness. Perhaps you do not have need of this after all. What you have there is a legendary blade that only you can wield. You must take great care of it. See, this dialogue, every time when you talk to the, the leader of the area afterward, they always have they have comments about the legendary blade, the, the master sword, of course. Um, I'm curious, and I'm sure there, there is, because they've done really well with the dialogue in this game. Um, but I'm curious as to the, what the difference in that dialogue is before, if you don't have the Master Sword, when you complete each of the Divine Beasts. Um, just whether they comment about, hey, you need to get the sword, or if they just don't have this piece of dialogue at all. You must take good care of it. You Only you can wield it. Link, all of the Zora, thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. And you too, Sidon. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. Huh. Father, I... Th thank you! <laughs> the heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. <laughs> How glorious! Truly splendid! <laughs> Link! This is wonderful. Ah. Hmm. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top tier expression of gratitude. Oh. Zo, zo, ra, 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 <laughs> with all my heart. Thank you. Why are they worried? Yeah, and you know, I've I kind of questioned that. Um, but I mean, they if it washes all their structures away, I mean, they do they have houses and things, so I could see that being problematic for them. Because uh, even I mean, you get too much water, it knocks down the the king's throne and stuff, and maybe the king's not that good of a swimmer anymore. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Light scale trident, a spear of peerless grace cherished by, cherished by Zora champion Mipha. Although Mipha specialized in healing abilities, her spearmanship was a, in a class of all its own. My inventory is full. And honestly, right now, I think we're going to leave it in the box. Because I already have Daruk's boulder breaker. And I've got... Um... Rivali's bow, it's back at the house on display. So we're going to leave that here for now. And I think with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up um, for today. So that's going to be it for this episode. For those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live over at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you jump on over there to Twitch and give us a follow so we can send you a notification when we go live. And then hop over to our Facebook and Instagram pages where following us will help keep you informed anytime that we have changes to our streaming schedule. We also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would be wonderful. And I do want to invite you to like and subscribe there on YouTube. That helps uh, YouTube know what you guys are having um, a good time watching and it also helps out our channel so i certainly appreciate that as well otherwise that's going to cover it for today i appreciate you guys and of course until next time stay random <laughs>